All right, I'm gonna show you how to format numbers in Google Sheets for iPad, including currencies, dates, times, and numbers with decimal places. So your spreadsheets look professional and make sense at first glance. If you're brand new to Google Sheets for iPad, then you can check out my basics video that I will link up here and in the description below. And if you want to follow along with the steps that I'll take you through in this video, there's a link to the spreadsheet I'm using in the description too. Okay, so I've got this really simple spreadsheet set up here, which basically covers all the things that we're gonna look at in this video, like uh, currencies, dates and times, um, and other kind of decimal numbers and things as well. Uh, so this is a travel expense tracker. You can see my different columns here, uh, various different types of data, date, time, costs, exchange rate and stuff. We'll have a look at that in a moment as well. Okay, and you may notice a few things here. Uh, firstly, that all the all the numbers look slightly different. There's some numbers that have uh, lots of decimal places, some numbers that only have two decimal places, some numbers that have a currency symbol and some that don't. So in order to be really consistent and clear here, I'm just gonna show you how we change those and adapt them for the purpose of each column. So for example, in the first one, the cost column, um, you can see here that I've got uh, 25 is Chinese yen here, um, and in the other rows below, it's just a normal number. So over here in the text menu at the top, if you scroll across to cell and go down, then you can see this option for number format. So I'm gonna go here, scroll down again, and you'll see there's uh, various options here, financial currency, but we want to go to more currency formats. And that way we can choose the specific currency that we're after. If I scroll down a little bit here, you'll see what I had before, which is the Chinese yen and there it is, you can see that it's changed there straight away. If I wanted to do that for uh, multiple cells, then I could just drag that little blue handle down um, and then I can change more than one at the same time, like uh, dollars or whatever it might be. So let's go back to Chinese yen. And uh, over here, we've got another currency column, which is the cost in dollars. So let me select all of those, go to number format, more currency formats, and then I'm gonna scroll right down to US dollar, here we go, and they've all changed. You'll notice as well that that changed from having many uh, decimal places down to two, which is the usual format for currency. And now that's actually being calculated automatically with a really simple formula uh, that you can see down here at the bottom left, which is simply B2 divided by E2, and that's the cost in Chinese yen divided by the exchange rate gives us the US dollar. So that's just a really simple formula that I'm using to keep track of the exchange rate. Now, moving on to dates here, you'll see I've got my dates column. In fact, if I just typed in um, something like three slash eight slash 25, then you'll see that that date gets automatically formatted depending on how I've typed it. I could also type something like uh, org three, and that would get formatted automatically as well but we want it to be consistent and we want it to all share the same format. So let's select all of those dates. Again, come up here to the text options, number format, and below the currency formats, we've got the uh, date and time formats here. There's a couple that you can choose from already, and then there's the more uh, date and time formats that you may want to choose from. So you can see various different formats. Um, I'm gonna stick, obviously this is just date, so let's stick with these formats. Let's select that one, and you'll see that it's all formatted in the same way. So a few different options there. Same for the time. If I select all of those, again, uh, if I just scroll down to number format, more date and time formats, and you'll see the ones that are specifically about time. So we could have AM and PM, we could have 24 hour time with those, uh, the minutes added as well. So really up to you how you want to format that data. You could also type in things like uh, 1 p.m. and it formats that time automatically. Um, it's not the same format as the rest because I only selected those uh, three cells there when I was formatting, but if I wanted to format the whole column, I can just tap on that column letter at the top. Again, change the format to what I want. Let's have it just regular 24 hour time. Um, so you'll see there, it's now all formatted the same. If I do something similar, maybe type um, 3 a.m then you'll see that it's formatted in the same way as the rest of the column. Now let's say you wanted to autofill a particular column and just have it follow the same pattern all the way down. Um, so we've got um, 1st of September, let's do uh, 3rd of September next. Um, and let's keep that one blank for now. So you can see this pattern uh, that we've already started here, 1st, 2nd, 3rd. So then I just select those cells um, down to the, the kind of selection that I want to autofill, tap, press autofill and you'll see that it continues the pattern that I started um, going however far down you want. Uh, this works uh, well for times as well. Um, so let's do the same 
thing here. Let me just delete that one. So I've got um, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., so two hours apart. So hopefully, if I do the same thing here, we'll get um, further times that are in two-hour intervals. There we go. Okay, so that's currencies, dates, and times. Um, you can also format just regular numbers like this. Unfortunately, on Google Sheets for iPad, there aren't many options for that. You can see here at the top um, that you can format that as a percentage or um, scientific. And if you wanted to change the decimal places of a particular amount, um, then you can select those amounts, go back to here, and then you can just update those decimal places. And you'll see that it can automatically round. So for example, 15.5 becomes 16. So that's useful to know as well. On desktop, you can customize that a lot more in terms of how thousands are separated. So you might choose between uh, full stops and commas, for example. Um, but these options don't exist on Google Sheets for iPads. So it's really only limited to what we've looked at so far, which is the currencies and the dates and times. Now, if you wanted to clear any of the formatting that we've done so far, then you can select the cells again, go to the text menu, to number format, and then just choose automatic or plain text, and you'll see that it's just um, back to normal. Uh, automatic shifts the numbers over to the, the right-hand side, plain text treats it like text and therefore moves it over to the left. Now, if you're adding new data to a new column and you want that to be formatted automatically as you enter it, then you can just select that column, um, choose the number format again, uh, so let's just have uh, dollars, for example, for this one, and then we can uh, add in our text. So if I type in 10, it becomes $10, 20 becomes $20. And that's really useful to speed up uh, your data input. If you found this video helpful, then I've got a ton of other videos on Google Sheets for iPad. Uh, you can find those in the playlist attached in the description. And if you want to experiment with formatting numbers on Google Sheets for iPad and you want a good starting point, then you can download the template uh, also in the description below. Thanks for watching.